All right, gonna show you how to find the entity list in Assault Cube. It will be very similar in other games, and there are many ways to do this. Here's a very quick way. Uh, first thing we need to do, you need to go and do this tutorial. And before you do this tutorial, you actually need to do this tutorial. And once you've done that, you're gonna have the prerequisite knowledge. Okay, so in those tutorials, you will get a cheat table. This is what it looks like. And we need to add one thing to this to make it easy on us. We need the name, okay? So my name is Rake. So we are gonna search for Rake. Pretty smart, right? And we get a bunch of crap here. Let's take a look. Uh, we see our other variables in our player class are in the 0, 2, 3 range. So let's look for our name in that range. And we only have one. So let's look at that. And then what we'll do is we'll change this to Drake. And we'll see if it changes. And my name is Drake. So, okay, so that's definitely my name. So that's great. Let's find the offset to it. Find out uh, what accesses this address. And we're going to see some stuff here. Let's stop them. And let's just show the disassembler. Okay, first one right here. We're comparing uh, the first byte of my name with zero. And the address of the name is in ESI. And if we look at this, ESI gets its value from EDI plus 225. So EDI is the base address of the player. And 225 is the, is the offset for the name. Uh, let's see if we find anything else interesting. Nothing really there. Let's look here. Nothing really jumping out at me, like an entity list. Let's see this one again. Okay, we got something interesting right here. Anytime you see something that looks like this, you know that you got that you're on the right spot. So, uh, the entity list in Assault Cube is an array of entity pointers, and uh, each pointer in a 32-bit app is is four bytes so if you look at this here it says move this into eax and so four is the size of a pointer esi is the element of the array that you're indexing into so that's like an iterator and then edi is the address of the of the player array so if we had let's say you know on player zero we take the address of the player array and add zero plus four and that gives us the address of the first element in the array. And you notice the brackets here, the brackets, remember, mean dereference. So uh, whatever's in those brackets there is actually a pointer. So when we dereference that, we get the actual address of the player object and we move it into EAX. Now we see this test EAX uh, with EAX which maybe is checking if it's not uh, if it's not null, like if, if the actual if the element in the array is actually a pointer. Uh, if it's not, it'd be zero. So we're testing that, and and then we we're taking we're adding two two five to eax. So now that gets us to the address of our name uh, variable. So basically, what I'm showing you here is th this is what you're looking for. Anytime you see this, we're we're indexing into an array. Now you're going to ask me, well, how do we know it's an array of entity pointers? Because it could also be an array of entity objects. So let me show uh, you that real quick. I just made a little, a little test app here, some code. So imagine we have an entity object with these variables. We can make an array of entity objects like this, or we can make an array of pointers to entity objects like this. Now, if you have an array of entity objects and you want to add a new object in 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 the array you would just assign it like this using the constructor for entity um, and then if you want to loop through them you would just do a for loop like we always do let's say we wanted to print the, the the name so basically what this part here says is go to element i in the ent array and then the period means access the name variable of this object so we go to the object in the array, grab the name from the object, simple as that. Now, if we have an array of entity pointers, uh, this is how you would dynamically uh, create an entity on the heap and then place a pointer to it in the array of pointers, just like that. Now, let's say that we already had a, uh, 
an entity, like let's call it like entity me, okay? And then you wanted to set this to be the address of me. So now you already have an object created somewhere else, and then you just want to add the pointer to it into the array like so. Uh, and then if you were going to loop through an array of entity pointers, you'd do the same exact thing, except we'd just read this a little differently. So go to element i of the array of entity pointers, and this operator means basically dereference the pointer in that element, and then grab the name from the object that it points to. I see a lot of people are confused by pointers. Now, it's it's really, it's just C, it's just C++, it's just object-oriented programming. I mean, if you learn the C first, it's going to be so much easier to reverse games that are written in C, you know? At the end of the day, all, all your CPU knows is addresses, you know? It doesn't know what objects are. It's just when the compiler makes this code, okay, it says the, the name variable is at offset 8, of the entity object. So it has the address of the entity and then it adds eight and then it reads 16 bytes from it. And that's how you read the name. That's how the CPU does it. So it's really nothing special. Uh, I hate to see a lot of people confused about pointers. Okay, so let's just add these to the cheat table. This is uh, easy. So we're gonna scroll up a tad. And here we see, we said before EDI is the uh, address of the array of player pointers, ESI is the index, and then 4 is the size of each pointer, what each element in the array. Anytime you're indexing through any array, it's going to look like, just like that. Um, they're doing a loop, just like the for loop I just uh, showed you. So, right here we see AC client plus 10F4F8, F8, and that's that's the address. And again, it's dereferencing it. So we actually have a pointer. So let's add a pointer here. And it's going to be uh, ac client.exe plus 10f4f8. All right. And oops, I did that wrong. We're just going to do ac client.exe plus 10f4f8. And we're going to call this pointer to and to the list, okay? We're gonna right click that, change it to hex. Now, let's just do a little confirmation here. Um, let's grab that, okay? Let's add another thing, let's add a pointer this time. And we are gonna index into, uh, it's weird, assault cube, the first element in the array is always empty. So we wanna go to the first one the first uh, element in the array, not not the zero element, the, the one element, which is the second one. Um, and we're gonna call, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do F8 for health. So this is entity one health. Yeah, so that works. And then let's say we wanna check the next player's health, we change to eight. Checks the next one after that, do C. So we know that works. So that is good. And if we go and do control D on the memory viewer, we get the uh, struct dissector. And we're going to define a new struct and we're going to call it uh, entity. Okay, and let's grab our player object right here. Okay, and if we look at this, we know this the first address is the V table. Okay, uh, if we go to F8, we're going to find hopefully some health, right? We'll call this health. If we go to 225, we are going to find, that says it's a pointer, it's not, so we're gonna change it to be, let's just do a byte so we can get our address here. Let's do add element and offset 225. Let's make it a string and let's make it 16 bytes. That's just what it is in a salt cube. So. That is the name variable, okay? So we got Drake's name, we got the health, and that's all we're gonna do for now. Let's add a, here's what we'll do. Let's define a new struct, okay? And we're gonna call it the entity list, okay? And we are gonna grab our entity list uh, pointer, 
wherever the hell it went to. Uh, pointer to entity list, okay. We're going to grab this. That's the address of the entity list. We're going to drop it in there. And remember, each one of these things is a pointer. Uh, so let's grab a bunch of these and do change element, and let's make them all pointers. And the structure we're going to point at is called an entity. Hit OK. And so now we have a bunch of pointers to entity in our entity list. And the first the first element is zero. It points to nothing for whatever reason. It's actually because uh, Assault Cube wrote their own uh, vector class rather than using like the standard one. So if we open this first entity, we're going to scroll down. And where's F8 to see health? F8 for health, 100, and then we should see a name, OSGB, that's a cool guy I used to talk to back in the day. Okay, um, so that's it. We, got, we have the entity list. Here's a little idea of how you can use the struct dissector to loop through them. Uh, let's look, squeenies on there too. So that's it, we got the, we got the entity list. All right, that's really it. I want to give a back sh uh, shout out to iPower, a uh, moderator, Dank Tier VIP on the forum. He wrote this little text guide with screenshots on how to do this, and that was really, that was really like my motivation behind making this video. So I'm going to link this all together in one thread. All right, that's it for the tutorial. I want to remind everyone if they love guided hacking, if you like my videos, you know, I try to make as many as I can. If you want to support us, please donate. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Guidedhacking.com slash donate. All right, guys, have a good one.